All right, we're talking White Bear Lake. Um, so what are your, I mean, that's a game we lose by two, semifinals. We were good enough to beat them. Um, I guess, what are your memories that you have from, from that game, coming off your uh, career high against Bemidji? Well, for sure, the, my memory is, biggest memory coming out of that game is a super low scoring. I mean, I don't even know what the score was. You don't happen to remember. 41-39. Yeah, I mean, uh, that was pretty low. Um, a lot of, well, I knew, I was convinced we could beat Minneapolis North, so I knew, I thought that they should have maybe, I think coming into that tournament, maybe White Bear Lake was rated number one. They were good. Two. They were good. They were they good. Were good. They were I good. mean, I knew that we had, you know, our hands full. Um, they had Ogden, Rignier, and that other, there was one other guy. Parker, uh, John yeah, Parker. Yeah, 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 and, you know, we we didn't play our best game then. Um, we had some critical mistakes and turnovers. Um, but, like your dad says, I mean, he thinks we should have beat him, and, you know, it would have been nice to beat him to get that three in a row, uh, which, Hadn't I don't think it had ever happened before, had it in a big school like that? I have no idea. Has any team? Big school. Like Edina, Edina won it. Oh, yeah, late, late '60s. That's yeah. right. They had the yeah. long streak and stuff. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, I I thought we were going to get that game, and but it was definitely a defensive battle, you know. I mean, because there was a lot of offensive players that were uh, on that, you know. I mean, I don't know what we averaged for points. A game, but I can tell you it was over 39. <laughs> it was probably about 60 or 70. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, yeah. I mean that. I mean, but it was a heartbreaker. Yeah, you know. I mean, of course, my senior year, thinking we're going to win it all, and plus, you know, I was looking forward to playing Minneapolis North because I knew those kids over there, and didn't happen. But you know, I, I definitely enjoyed the game. <laughs> All right, I got just another question or two, uh, and this is just kind of a fun one. I want to bring up your nemesis. Do you know who I'm going to say? Probably Derek Schramm. Derek Schramm. <laughs> Derek Schramm. So Derek Schramm was, they're the same class, 85. They were both 6'6 as freshmen. Derek started at Kennedy at, at, as a freshman. He started at Lincoln as a freshman. So just that's just an interesting yeah, well, yeah, like How did that, that work I'd out? see him at the fireman's tournament. He'd come up to me and like, Oh, look at my number one nemesis. And I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. He, and Derek was a good player. Yeah, he player. was a good player. Yeah. And the funny thing is, is I had saw him at a tournament, uh, probably when my son was in something in eighth grade, and he called me and was trying to get my kid on his team for summer league basketball. But, yeah, I mean, we definitely had, we had some battles. And uh, he... He didn't back down for me, that's for sure. And uh, he, I didn't even know him until, know who he was until ninth grade. Did you? I mean, I never no, heard no. of the kid before. No, I didn't know. And, uh, but yeah, he, he definitely, we, we had some battles. And Kennedy, I mean, you consolidate, because Kennedy was pretty athletic, too. I mean, they had Haley, and I can't think of anybody else on that team right now. But they were, they were a pretty strong team. But yeah, it was pretty interesting, and I've run into him occasionally. And, but I kind of lost track. I don't know what he did in college or any of that stuff. Okay, last question. Uh, what's your highlight? What's what's your, your your best highlight playing basketball for Jefferson? And let's even go the other way. What's what's your low light? What's your biggest disappointment? Well, obviously the low light is the shot with Wassenauer. I mean, I could have cried. You know, I mean everybody. Everybody knows that when we were playing in Edina and we were sitting there being all jubilant thinking how much time was left, like 1.3 seconds or something? Three seconds from the Was it three? Yeah. And then he shot. I mean, that was truly a three-quarter you know, shot, wasn't it? 50-footer, right? The, yeah. cr the crowd was just intense. Um, the highlight probably would have just been, you know, making it to the state my senior year. Um, I don't even know who we, who we played to make it to state, but uh, being at the state term was definitely, you know, that's everybody's goal uh, growing up is to make it to the state tournament. And, of course, you and I see each other at the state tournament almost every year. I didn't make it this last year because I was down in Florida, but 
you know, that's every kid's dream is to play in the the big stage at the state tournament and of course go on and play college basketball if you can. But yeah, that was definitely a good time, you know. Senior year turned out to be because we had good football and we had good good basketball. So it was definitely the highlight.